Hey guys, so today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to show you a little bit of an overview of my desk. I wanted it to be pretty organic so I didn't clean up very much, so excuse the mess. But I thought that this would be something a little bit different and a little bit interesting. And I'll also show you a little bit of my sticker collection in these two um, Muji drawers. So this one and then this one. I have some of my most used stickers. I also have a ton of stickers over here in my, um, it's like a Ikea cart. And then I have container store organizers with all different stickers. They're organized some by shop, some by months that I want to use them. So I will kind of maybe go over that one day but i'm not sure because it's a mess and it's always like a work in progress like it's not cute so i'm just gonna show you guys everything that is on my desk first things first over here we have a bunch of different planners on top i have my personal size louis and it has my so much crafting inserts in it and i just love these inserts so so much they are the week on two page and they're kind of like the Erin condren like style that you could put the Erin Condren stickers in and then I have a bunch of graph paper and stuff like that in the back and I also have this cute little charm I don't remember what the name hot pink fluff maybe and then I have my larger one which is comparable to the Erin Condren size um it's a little hard to see but I do have some planner clips up top and this one I use as my all pen um planner and then I also have YouTube video ideas in here release kind of ideas this is my like YouTube schedule and then this is kind of like my like all pen I use some stickers I use the coffee the coffee monsters co because they look like little like pen doodles so that is that planner and then I do have um, an Erin Condren planner this is the one that I started using last year um, and I ha use this one for pictures and stuff and also doing faux plan with me's and this is the one I started this year and I have been doing my regular plan with me's in it and stuff like that. And then I also have one of the new happy planners because I've been doing like faux plan with me's in this as well and I really like the way that they turn out. I don't know if I can find one but you guys have saw that. The camera almost fell over. So then if we move over to this area, I have a little bit of a kind of like sticker storage going on. So I have, let me put these back. This video's gonna be all over the place. So over here I have a Muji 5 drawer and I just put gold um, washi tape around the edges here. I thought it just kind of gave it a look. And I can also put stickers on here that label them. I just haven't gotten around to making them yet because I want to like live in this before I make any more because I want to be able to say like this is 100% what this is going to be. So I'll show you guys what's in here but first I'm going to show you what's on top. On top I just have all of my May releases that I just went and uh, took video of. I used for filming and I also um took uh, pictures of so I just have all of those here because they need to be filed away but this is about what I usually bring home for new releases and then this is a Erin Condren ruler because I use these all the time for like all different things. Then I have this gold bowl that I got at Target and inside of here is some hand cream because I always use hand cream and then a hole punch and two pairs of Martha Stewart scissors. In these drawers, there's five of them. On the bottom drawer is all of my uh, like glam, like these are all non-collections, so all my non-collection favorites. I have a ton of other ones, but I just didn't put them in here. So this is all of my glam planner stuff that's in like multicolor or like glitter or just not collection specific. And I kind of like, don't know how I'm going to keep these drawers yet because I keep like changing how I'm going to do them. Then I have my pretty sheepy stash which is pretty big and I just placed another order with her but there's just a bunch of different pretty sheepy stickers in here and if, I, if she has any samplers I put them in here too. So I have a drawer for her. I have a miscellaneous drawer which realistically little paper prints should probably have her own drawer because I do have a lot of stuff by her but I kind of feel like her stuff goes better in the miscellaneous drawer because I have like all different stickers from her. I have like makeup ones, some like actual functional stickers, some like glasses ones, some planners, all of her samplers, you know, target dots, regular dots. And then I just have like all different shops in here, like my favorite like sheets from their shop that I use often. And then in here, I have all of my Little Miss Papery in here, which I, you know, cut some, like I always tell you guys, I cut like parts off of the collections that I use of hers because I just love her stickers so much. And then I have different multicolored stickers in here and stuff like that as well. So she has her own drawer. And the last person with their own drawer is Caress Press, which I do have like a nice healthy stack of Caress Press stickers, and I just love them so much. So this is all like anything that's not like collection specific or her donut stuff because I love that stuff. So I have that all in there as well. 
Then if we turn a little bit more, I'm just gonna gently move you guys over. This is a cup, I actually got this cup for uh, Elle for whenever she was in my wedding, she was my maid of honor, and I just thought this was super cute, and I just got it for myself because I thought it was adorable. So she has it, I have it, I love it. Then I have all of my black pens, and I also have one navy pen. So the rest of these are all black pens. Um, they range from Sharpies to G2s, to Energel, to Stetler, to Le Pen. I have some like one from um, Elle's Mystery Kit, a Sharpie Fine Points. Uh, these ones from Target are really nice. And then I have my one navy Sharpie, which I love navy Sharpies a lot. And then I have some nail polish remover, which if you guys have watched any of my most recent videos, you notice that my nails are not on. I actually need to go get them redone, but in the meantime, I wanted to make sure I'm painting my nails for you guys so you don't have to look at my ugly fingers, and ugly bare fingers. So I love this nail polish remover. If you guys are in the market for one, it is the glitter one from Sephora. I don't use it when I have glitter on. I don't really put glitter nail polish on just because it's a pain to get off. But this is what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But it gets off nail polish like so fast. And it doesn't like you have to like scrub at your nails or anything. Then if we turn this way, you're going to see my tripod, which usually has this camera on it. And I get a lot of questions about my tripod. My tripod is a, um, a mo, a no, a mo, I want to say no. A Manfrotto tripod, you get them on like B&H, and, and then the arm is a Manfrotto arm. And if you look that up, Manfrotto arm on B&H, &H, that will come up. Um, so yeah, and then this is just one of their basic um, tripods. And I use, to film, I use the Sony, um, I don't know, uh, A5 100, it's the white one. It doesn't matter what color it is, but um, a lot of people wonder if I shoot with like a DSLR or a point and shoot, it's point and shoot, it's easy. So I have an Erin Condren box here which has the stuff I'm going to be giving away and I just have it here so that every time I film I remember that I need to like pick a winner and then send it out. I have my peekaboo over here, is that what they're called? Peekaboos? And I have a little like clip on it from a mystery box. I just thought it was super cute so I wanted to keep it up here. And whenever I am like painting my nails or, do, or like filming a plan with me without any um, talking, I will put my phone on here like so and I will watch videos or listen to music or whatever. And then I also have a little card from um, Little Paper Prince with her March coupon on it, just in case I decide to place an order. I have gum back here and I have all of my different cords that I need to charge on my cameras. And then I have my nail polish because I was painting my nails for the past couple of videos. And my what I've been using is the Formula X from Sephora Nail Strengthener. And then the last time I painted my nails, I used the Nails Ink Gel Effects. And then this is in the color Portrait Square. This time I used Mayfair Lane from um, Nails Ink, the Gel Effects line. And then I just used the Sesh Vite Clear. And let me see if it's connected. Like the brush came off the lid before, but that's what I've been using on my nails and it's been working good. I also have a juice box because honestly, like what would my life be without juice box and then I have a coaster which is a like a just a coaster that says I love you so much which is actually where Nick and I got like part of our wedding pictures taken then we can go ahead and move over here which over here this is like my little section of like random stuff so this is all my stuff I'm using for scribble scraps so I pretty much in here only have stuff from my shop and caress press because I feel like those are the ones that I always have like a ton left over from so I've been keeping those in here to do a scribble scraps video with. I might even do, like I might split these up, like go through them and do like a Crest Press one and a Scribble Prince Co. one. Um, and then in here, which this is just an Evie Lou Co. Um, Evie Lou and Co. Um, thing, I have like different scraps. So like I've been cutting out, like if I have um, like a little bit of washi left, I'll cut it out. Or if I have, you know, um, some of these left I had, I put them in here. Um, you know, whatever I have, I will cut out and put in this, you know, little area, little freebies, things like that. And whenever I'm done with the kit, I'll always cut out, like, you know, whatever's left. And I put it in here and I can send it to whoever or I can take it to, like, a meetup and give it to somebody. And I don't know, I'm trying to save myself and give it away. And then I have one of these, which I actually haven't used any stickers from, but I really want to. And it's the Erin Condren, like, sticker book that goes with the colors of the month, so I'm pretty pumped to sometime use this. Then I have another one of those Muji five drawers. I really honestly wanna get two more and stack them up. 
I think that'd be really nice or even do like two I might order more like after this video so I have all of like my stickers in here that I use a lot these are all not collection these are all multicolors. but again I'll show you what's on top first so on top I have this little Kate Spade dish and it says in the right place and I just have this extra um, what is this called SD card and I keep this here just in case I don't remember to bring up one of my bigger ones and I wanna film a video but I don't feel like walking downstairs to get another one. Then over here I just have some post-its and this pen for my mystery kit. So I have my mystery kit post-its. I have this like little um, laminated, uh, what are these called? Project Life cards I have and then I have some post-its. This one was from a Glam Planner um, mystery kit and then these ones were from a Mombi thing. So I have those up there. In here I have a bunch of random stuff. So. In here is kind of like a lot of stuff. So it started as like an event, like little section. So I'd have like all of my movie night stuff and things like that and like countdowns till events and stuff. But then it turned into kind of like a miscellaneous folder because I had countdowns and then I needed a place for all of these like deco stickers and stuff like that. So that's kind of like my miscellaneous drawer and anything I'm like currently using goes up there. Then these are all kind of like half boxes uh, appointment labels, flags, like things you'd write on so that wouldn't be just themselves. You'd have to like write something on them or like put it, put a little like icon on them. So I have a drawer of those. And then I have a drawer of headers, which is like honestly like the most ridiculous amount of headers ever. I went through my stickers recently and all of my like Scribble Prints co ones I split up and sent to them, my friend Brie and then Jessica. That's why I don't have a lot of even my own stickers just because I got rid of a lot of them. Because I could honestly print more of them, but i just rather send them to people that would use them. So I have, you know, the glitter and the solid ones in here. So this one is kind of like, I just threw these under here because I didn't know where to put them. And then all kinds of different like icons and dots and like stuff that's like equivalent to that that I would probably like layer on top of something. So I have stuff that I would layer things on and then the things that I would layer on top of those. And then the bottom is kind of like check boxes and stuff like that I would check off. So I have like to cleans, I have a ton of ombre boxes, I have habit stickers and stuff like that on the bottom. So those are all scribble print stickers. Then last but not least, if we go over here. Oh, also I just want to note my lighting is from Amazon. It's literally, if you look up like soft boxes, it's like $60 for two of them. And that's what I use. And my desk itself is a corner desk from Ikea. And I think it's like $40 or $50. And it has a lot of like scrapes on it and stuff but when i've been using the papers you can't tell and whenever we move next i will get a new desk but i'm not going to get a new desk until then because when we move it always gets scuffed so i do have this washi holder over here which has been kind of a fail for me just because every time i need a piece of washi like this whole thing like comes apart so that's my washi area then I have this notebook here that I got at Paper Source, and then also these pens that I've been trying out, the Paper Mate Ink Choy gel pens. And then last but not least, I always have my phone here, and I usually have a big stack of stickers. This actually looks a lot more organized than normal. This is just like all the stickers that I've gotten recently or I've really released recently and just haven't had time to put away into my collection to where they need to go. So. Yeah, there's like a lot here, but I've just tried to organize them a little bit before I showed you guys. But usually they're just kind of like half of them are up here, half of them are here, half of them are here, some of them are here. So that was the only thing that I kind of cleaned up because otherwise it had been a little bit distracting. But those are just stickers that I need to put away. So that is kind of an overview of my desk area. I'm just going to kind of roll back and show you guys the whole thing. So again, my corner desk is from Ikea, the legs are from Ikea, the um, tripod and the arm are from B&H Photo. They ship like overnight most of the times and it's the Manfrotto tripod, it's like their basic one, Manfrotto arm. The two light boxes again are from Amazon. I will try and link everything down below. Those are like 60 bucks, guys. Um, I think Brian and Kirsten used them and I was like assuming because of $60 that there was going to be like one light per box, but I actually ended up getting four lights, so I have like extra ones. Um, but yeah, they're like 60 bucks. They're so good. Like they light my entire like desk area as you guys can see. There's that and that is my desk area. I hope that you guys liked this little video. I know a lot of you guys wanted like an office tour, but you guys, this place is like a whole kind of mess. So maybe one day, but not today. So I hope that you guys like this and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.